Former U.S. President Barack Obama on Thursday urged a new generation of American leaders to talk with people they disagree with. In a speech at a democracy forum sponsored by his foundation, the former president called for a renewed commitment to pluralist principles and warned of the consequences of failing to do so. The alternative is what we've seen here in the United States and in many democracies around the globe. Not just more gridlock, not just public cynicism, but an increasing willingness on the part of politicians and their followers to violate democratic norms, to do anything they can to get their way, to use the power of the state to target critics and journalists and political rivals, and to even resort to violence in order to gain and hold on to power. The Democrat also laid out his vision for building lasting majorities. In a democracy, power comes from forging alliances and building coalitions and making room in those coalitions, not only for the woke, but also for the waking. We have to be open to framing our issues, our causes, what we believe in, in terms of we and not just us and them. Eight years after his second term came to a close, Obama remains one of the most popular figures with his party's base. He and his wife Michelle threw their support behind Vice President Kamala Harris during her presidential run. They delivered rousing speeches around the country and raised millions for her campaign. Despite those efforts, Donald Trump and Republicans dominated at the ballot box in November, winning the popular vote and sweeping both chambers of Congress. In the weeks since, advisors from Obama's one-time inner circle who joined Harris's campaign have drawn fire for failing to admit any mistakes in how they handled the 2024 cycle. That has all sparked an angry blame game inside the party and spurred calls for a crop of younger leaders to take the baton. David Axelrod, a former senior advisor to Obama, told Reuters he thought Obama would be the first to agree, saying, quote, I think he would say he's run his race and we need others to step up.